Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Now we have the Hobby Tools Universal Injector Puller. This is the HU41055. And what we're going to show you today is how to remove an injector with this. Now there is other steps that I'm not going to show you today. This is just simply how to remove an injector. Obviously when you do, you know, new seals, clean everything and all that. But we're just going to physically show you how this works to undo an injector. I'm not going to stand here and tell you this will remove every single injector because sometimes as you can see from this video they are quite stuck in there but this will certainly remove an awful lot of them you know after a few minutes just depend on how bad they are actually stuck in here now the best thing about hubby tool stuff is it always comes with a nice color instruction booklet and these are actually all been um hand drawn out and i know the person that's done them she spends a lot of time on them and the actual um illustrations are fantastic shows you how to hook it up absolutely everything really really quickly you know brilliant because sometimes as we all know the old destructions are terrible um, they're that good they don't even need words it just shows you you know step by step exactly how to do it so it is essentially a slide hammer that attaches to our injector we have a couple of different threads here and stuff depending on which injector you're actually working on so let me uh, get this set up I'll find out which ones I need first and then we'll set this actually up and we'll see how it works sorted right so we're ready to go there's just one little thing that's a little niggly thing which I know they're going to get sorted out and all you really need is a washer to solve it it's not a big deal because I have used this a few times and I do really like it I have the right one I need for my injector and I will just show you an injector so you know exactly how it fits now it does tell you to take off the actual feed pipe there because we do have another connection to go in so we don't damage this connection and again very easily it explains it in the instructions depending on which one you're actually using it does show you you, need to, you can take that off and put their one in so you don't do any damage but just for the sake of it now we're just going to leave that one on so i know this is the right one for me the only problem i have like i said against this is when you put this on do that we need to put the collars on here and what can happen sometimes is which is quite like I said it's not a big deal so when you screw this on to here what can happen sometimes is now if you keep pressure on it it doesn't happen but it can kind of happen sometimes and it is um, like I said not the end of the world let me just take this injector off and be easy for me to do it here not fighting against the weight of the injector so when you screw this on all the way like that this can slip past and kind of hook around there so all I do to stop that from happening is take off this put a washer on it that's the wrong so all I do is I take off this Actually, that's the wrong washer let me get the correct washer now I have a washer this is a nice big one it doesn't have to be this big just as long as it doesn't go past this here or essentially as long as it doesn't slide up this shaft so I can put it on top of there like that I can then screw this down to meet that on it and what happens now is that as you can see stops it from going down now I know they are sorting that out but like I said a washer very simple so then all we need to do after we've done that is get our slide hammer put this in screw our slide hammer connection into there the other thing I would kind of like it if these were kind of one end was just permanently fixed again not the end of the world just a little kind of peeve but again, you wouldn't normally do be doing this on camera because every time you put something on camera, it's always a million times harder than doing it in real life. 
to screw that up onto there. And now, people, we have one injector puller ready to go. Look at that bad boy. And I really like it, the fact that that is angled. So I can hold that straight on the injector. As you can see, I can move this at any angle I want. You can see the angle there, which I'll show you when I get it on the car a lot better. So all I'm going to do now is, no point me showing you on the car, because like I said, this isn't really that type of video, just showing how the tool works. I'm going to release the actual clamp of the injector. We're going to take off the plug. We're going to take off the return pipe. We're also going to take off the feed pipe. Once I've got all that done, we will uh, hook our injector puller on. And let's see how many bangs it takes to take out. 40. Now, like I said, this is not really for telling you how to, you know, to do everything. It's just really demonstrating the tool. I have done other videos. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this in the series, but I have done other videos, how to test injectors, how to test solenoids, how to do all that. And this is all kind of related, obviously, before you take it out. Um, what I do advise people to do, if you've got a problem on injector, replace all four, get all four reconditioned because if this is in the car and they're all in the car from new, they've all done the mileage. So if this one's going or this one's going, the others are not going to be far behind. But anyway, so all I've done, I've taken off the clamp, I've taken off the feed pipe, I've taken off the return pipe. As you can see, we've got hardly any room here. And you might think, oh, this is going to be a bit awkward. But the best thing about this machine is it will get into tight areas. So there we go. I just screw that on to the injector. Make sure it's all the way on, like that. Put it on there. Now, I do hope this is kind of hard stuck in there because otherwise this is going to be kind of a boring video. <laughs> it's going to be quite quick. But like I said, what I really like about it, look at the angles you can use this from. You don't have to be completely upright you can be at any kind of different angles and it's absolutely brilliant um, and then all we need to do ah uh, look at that typical isn't it that just came out so easy um, <laughs> that's just typical right one thing I am going to do and I forgot to say it in the video but with the power of editing we can just edit this in the best thing about this also is once you actually actually once you actually have this in so this is screwed into the injector you can actually so this is screwed into the injector like this you put it you can actually twist the injector with this like that so you can loosen it up before you use the slide hammer to actually hit it up because some of them if they really are stuck you might need the slide hammer to lift it up and also loosen it at the same time. But do be careful, don't try and, not that you can, but don't try and spin the injector all the way around like that, thinking you're actually losing it. Because what you might be doing, depending on the injector and depending on how it's stuck there, this part of the injector screws off. If this part is stuck into the car, all you're actually doing is screwing this part of the injector off. You're going to lose all the little valves and everything and the springs in there. This part is going to be stuck and you're going to be in serious trouble. So just, you can turn the injector side to side. So if I just screw this in, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Might be easier. So now that's in like this, your slide hammer is up. And with this, as you can see, I can slide the injector left and right and just loosen up and then hit it out with the slide hammer. So that's another good feature with this tool. Now I was hoping that would be a little bit harder, but you've got to remember this is a huge weight here. So, you know, yeah, now that is pretty annoying. Well, it's not annoying, believe me, it's not annoying that it came out easy. I was just kind of hoping for the video's sake, it would be a lot harder. The other really good thing is you can see all the crap that's on this, but the really good thing is the uh, washers come out with it because they can be a nightmare. I've done a video on one of them which was um, the hole in the middle was misshapen, which really I struggled to take it out, but we got it out. So there we go. That's how to use the Hubby Tools um, injector remover. Now it's typical, I have done some with it, you know, I've maybe been at that for three or four minutes beating it out, but believe me, three or four minutes, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind spending half an hour at that because some of them some of them can be annoying, especially when they've started leaking with all the buildup and stuff. That's when they kind of get a lot harder to remove. This one was broke or this one is going. 
So that's why this one was a lot uh, easier to get out. But I was hoping it might be a bit of a uh, bit of resistance. But there we go, people. That's how to use this. And like I said, I really do like the fact that you can get it different angles, you know, depending on where you're going. And it's absolutely fantastic. You saw how easy, even though it looked easy coming out of that, if you was trying to get lever bars under here, I can assure you it wouldn't have been that easy. You would have been at this for a long time. But because the right tool for the right job, there we go, people. So look, hope you like it. Oh, obviously I'll put all the links down below where you can get them from. You can contact them on Facebook. They can tell you where their nearest supplier or your nearest supplier is. And uh, all the links down below on the video. And uh, best thing to do is contact them on Facebook, send them a message, they will get back to you. And that's it. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, subscribe, all you don't forget. Links appear, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.